Hello, welcome to StormbreakerTheMovie.com. My name is John Bloomfield. And most of the actors will have had stunt doubles um, or even second unit doubles, which is another thing that we have to contend with and also has to be paid for. We have another unit shooting alongside or probably even somewhere else doing something completely different. Any actor who's wearing a costume over several days even, you have to have several of them just to cope with those contingencies. So if something gets damaged, you, you, you've got that. That does happen, obviously. And certainly for the main actors, you would always have extra costumes. You never go on a set with just one of anything. You know, if, if the leading lady's got this lovely silk blouse, you're not going to go on in one because for sure, for sure, she's going to spill a coffee down it. Um, so you have to have that, not, not even thinking about stunts or damage or anything like that. Stunt costumes and actors' costumes. Uh, there's often a problem because of the movement. I mean, the reason you have a stuntman is because he's doing something extraordinary. So you might well have to make a difference in the costume to accommodate the sort of movement that's, that's, uh, that's required. But essentially, you want to create the illusion that, that it is the actor doing it. Part of a job of being a costume designer is not only um, designing the movie, but actually coping with the whole logistics of getting the stuff there on time, getting the stuff there in budget. Movies are a business. You, don't, you can't just go and spend what you like. You have to think about all that all the time. My concern is always which department's going to pay for it. So what I try and do is design it or choose it and get somebody else to pay for it. You know? so, so I'll say I'll have that one and it goes on the prop budget. That's the only way to do it, really.